What's the What's the difference between the feeling that the EP gonna give you versus the feeling that the album Ooh, gonna give you? These some good ass questions for you. Uh, the EP is gonna introduce another side of crazy. Like I'm back on some on my little kid shit. Okay. I'm back on writing on my hand, writing triangles on the wall and shit, talking about fucking earth and space. It's going to make me be looked at as a fucking weirdo. I'm not going to be crazy no more. I'm going to be a weirdo. The bigger than life is going to be for the, for, the, for, the, for the whole DMV, bro. Not even for the whole fucking world. Bro. Okay. Because it's going to be, I'm going to have people, I'm going to have a choir on that jump. Yeah, bro, I'm, I'm, trans, I'm, bro, I'm transitioning to a different side. You can ask dudes, bro. He helped me, Big Shoy Engineer. He helped me mix that motherfucking EP, bro. And he recorded it. We, we was crying in the stool, bro. Shit, we actually cried in this stool when I played Recovery. Because he knew what the fuck I've been through. So when he heard The World Is Mine, this nigga was like, Young, you don't give a fuck. I'm exposing all the bitch-ass niggas that tried to backdoor me. I'm exposing the bitches that lied on my name. I'm exposing, I'm exposing niggas that's claiming hoods they not from. I'm exposing everybody, but it's all love. Cause like when I was in them sight wars, I was this, I was that, and the third. And now you on my line? Damn, that's how that work. You need to be in the sight war. You delusional as fuck. Yeah. So yeah, it's just gonna it's gonna make me get canceled. So you taking, in a good way. You taking the hat off of all the cappers? Fuck yeah! And then I'm putting a dollar in that bitch and taking it back out. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> fuck no, for niggas. real though, for real though. Yeah. Uh, Damn, bro, so that's crazy. All right, how many songs do you think that you're sitting on that is not released? 777. Okay. 777. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 this ain't no cap, no kids. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are you heavy into uh, numerology? Fuck yeah. I got, okay. me, me and my gang, we got, I got probably 777 right here uh -huh. and 21. Seven times three equals twenty-one. That's when my dad died. Twenty-one is when you become like a real adult. Okay. My number is seven, seven, seven. My, my other number is six, six, six. A lot of people don't like that. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> you don't like shit. I hate that shit. I don't like that. I don't like that either. <laughs> I was, hey, look, I was going to ask you though, because look, <laughs> yeah, 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 when yeah. I was when I was looking at withdrawals, I seen your chain, and I'm like, damn. Oh, the bottom of it? I mean, the goat. Man, and look, and that's why I'm looking. I'm looking like. <laughs> I, I, that made me real like go to endless music because I was looking to see if bro was going to be like, yeah, I'm a demon, boo, boo, boo. Because you know niggas be claiming, I'm a demon or whatever, whatever. And it's like, boom, all right, so you got that. Yeah. That's a little goat Baphomet. It's a, yeah, this John, this, it's, it's a goat. We ain't call it Baphomet. Because, okay. look, I'm going to answer your question, bro. I already know what you about to ask. I'm a Capricorn. Okay. I study uh, astrology. Okay. We the goats. Okay. What goats stand for? Greatest of all time. And if you notice, I got 17 on this jump. Right there. That's okay. where I'm from. Yeah. 17 is the number of victory. Okay. They got 17 tracks on recovery. I'm okay. Okay. I'm not a demon. I don't worship the devil. Okay. I worship God. I worship myself. I don't even be, like really believe in all that religion shit. Yeah. So, yeah. People I, think I am, but, I mean, they out here backdooring people. And I'm saving people. I'm the devil. Shit, niggas got it fucked up. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. respect. All right, so tell us about the butterfly then. You know what, bro? I thought you wasn't going to ask, bro. <laughs> so it's a butterfly, y'all. You can't see. So I got three butterflies on my face. That represents three people I lost. My father, the Virgo, and myself. Okay. It's in black. It's okay. black butterflies, which is a moth. Yeah. That represents death. Okay. Also, transformations. It's just my wings got... Every time... I fall in love with a, I only fell in love with two jumps. Virgo and the John went now. They got butterfly tatted on them. And they told me what it meant. I'm like, shit, I'm getting that shit tatted on my face. Well, got, they both told you the same thing? Yeah. What for what butterflies mean? Yeah. They both got it. Yeah. Damn. Wow, the shit, right? <laughs> we butterfly babies, bro. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> so it stands for transformation. You know what I'm saying? So. That's why I got it. Niggas, certain niggas like, fool, you got butterflies on your face and you got a butterfly chain. What type time you want? Like, 
You right, bro, but your bitch in my DM, she like it. Yeah. Trust nah, me. Nah, I'm, 198 I'm, babies. I'm right with For you. Real. I'm right with you. I yeah. think, look, look, motherfucking text is against my religion, but I promise you, if you ask oh. people that I talk to text about, God, yeah, Taco definitely said he get a face set to a butterfly or a bird. I also got a semicolon on my face, you probably can't see. Yeah. So they think, niggas think that's a tear drop when I explain it to them, they like, young, you different. Yeah. I ain't kill nobody. Yeah. Yeah, I'm already look if you don't know what a semicolon mean, look this this is what I know what it mean, that crazy to tell you what it means to them is like, you know, it's just a continuation, it's a pause, and it's a continuation and boom, we gonna pick it up and we gonna keep it going. You know what I'm yeah. saying? We had a, a slight interlude, you know what I'm saying? Like but this. really we gonna keep it going, you know what I'm saying? Hey bro, I probably you probably asking why I keep saying one ninety eight baby, bro. That's the guy I was born, bro. Okay. Nineteen ninety eight. Okay. I'm a ninety eight. You got ninety nine, I'm a ninety eight baby. Okay. So Okay, okay. And so, my man L from 198, so you... Okay, you, okay, 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 I see it. You going yeah, up, you going yeah, up. I made it here, bruh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so... How, how do you keep your mindset elevated in a way that, you know, is not like how it was before you went back? Or is it now you just got different trainings and process to make sure you're on... Different trainings, bruh. Like, I write, I told myself I'll never go back to a site where I take a trip. I go to Cali, I go to fucking Virginia, just talking. Yeah. I love to talk, bro, as you yeah. can see. Yeah. Um, music and being around reflections. Remember, you, I see you and me, you yeah. see me and you. Yeah. Reflections, I can't be around somebody talking about, bitch, I'm about to get drunk tonight yeah. over a nigga yeah. like, I'm about to fuck these bitches go to bed. Do you, bro? I did that shit at 13. You've been rapping since 12, bro. I done yeah. fucked all the bad bitches. I done had all the... Yeah. That shit born to me. Now I need to be talking about how the fuck we gonna make this stock profitable in the next five years, yeah. nigga. Yeah. How we gonna get a, go from a gold plaque to a platinum plaque? I don't want to talk about third dimensional yeah. shit no more. Yeah. I'm tired of sick of that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, shout out Studio Compound. Yeah, shout out Compound, yeah. man. Shout out Compound. For, for sure, show. for sure. Yeah. Um, damn, I just had a great question. My bad. I be nah, talking. you all good, bro. You all good, bro. Damn, I had it like that. Oh, what was it like? Like, what what is it like being an entrepreneur and just endeavoring into that? Like, that shit nigga. is challenging. Shout out Deuce. That nigga was the guinea pig of that shit because I was like, fuck that. I'm working a job and doing what the fuck I do. No best to do. I'm getting this check. Fuck you. You stay over there. I love you, bro. I'm not quitting my job. I'm not doing that. Yeah. Watching this nigga say fuck the world, man, he inspired me just to be an entrepreneur because it's so, it's not even the money taco. It's the mindset, bro. You got freedom to do what the fuck you want and make money. At a, at a nine to five, I ain't not a nine to five. That's a difference between a nine to five and a career. When you at McDonald's and shit, niggas telling you, you telling them motherfucking man, I'm about to chase these dreams. I'm about to start my old clothing line, and the nigga be like, yeah, can you add an extra fry to that? That's wild as shit. Nah, they don't give a fuck about that shit, bro. Nah, Deuce man. taught me, fuck the world, go chase it. We, me and Deuce, we hanging around millionaires. No, like for real, we hanging around niggas that, no niggas that, no niggas. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So. He inspired me to stop this entrepreneurship and I love it, bro. Like, it's just, I invested in myself. Food. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say. Respect, respect. Yeah. Nah, that's that's a powerful and critical thing. Like, yeah. definitely an entrepreneur working with other entrepreneurs. And when you really learn it, it's like, the matrix just re-came back out. So now Ooh. when you if, you, if you really learn what's going on, like, if you really learn what's going on, it's like, you in a box like this. And when you learn about being an entrepreneur, it's like you stepping outside the box, looking into the box, right? Because you only seen it like this. Now when you see it like this, like, oh, that's a whole different yeah, thing going on. A whole on. different thing going on, bruh. But crazy Montana, man. Is there anything that I missed before we hop into the five random questions? Nah, bro. This is probably like, I always say this every interview I get. This is not, I know I'm elevating. This was a good ass interview, bro. Like I didn't say some shit I never said on camera, bro. Like I'm a 198 baby. Uh, fucking, I got a girlfriend and uh, <laughs> shit. You know, L Train came a long way and shout out Tracy Dudes and Cheyenne Ray and T and all them niggas. Shout out everyday bad swag and make sure you wear your swag, bro. I'm bro, I got you, bro. I got you. Look, next interview, next interview, I see. Oh, next interview I got. Look, I got to run on. I got to run on Friday. I'm gonna, right, bro. I'm gonna have it on. I'm gonna have it on. But 